Hey folks, how are we doing? Take a boo. Hope you're doing well. If you're not, smile. You know, keep her lap, as we say. Keep her lap. You know, everything will be all right. Um, yeah. This ain't going to appeal to any whiskey purist. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Things I do. Howler head. Uh, this isn't a whiskey, okay? It's, well, yeah. right. Obviously, there's different rules around the world. <laughs> but bear with me. This is Howler Head Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey with natural banana flavour. So it's not really a whiskey. But I heard great things about it. I heard wrong. <coughs> now, <laughs> this, this is a banana flavoured whiskey. Um, it says stuff on the label here, but I broke it. So I'm going to pour a wee tiny drop into this, okay? Um, it's what forty percent, isn't it? It's, yeah, forty percent. Forty percent. Now, I'll read it on the back because I actually, I'll let you in a little secret. I really like artificial banana flavouring. It's just one of those things I've always liked it. You know the wee but foam banana sweets you get. I used to love them. Oh, loved them. Still love them. Um, kind of like bananas. I'm not a massive fan of bananas. I think everybody likes bananas. <laughs> banana flavouring is one of my favourite. But, Howler Head Monkey Spirit. Bananas gone crazy. Yeah, that's right. We said bananas blend it with the finest Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey we could get our paws on. You've got a kick of oak, a whirl of sweetness, and some straight from the jungle bananarama goodness. Some people said we were monkeying around. They said convention is not to be trifled with. We heard them. There are whole cities full of people not trifling with convention for the rest of us. Welcome to the jungle. Right. Okay. So we kind of know where we're going with this, okay? Howler head. Now this is the official <laughs> whiskey of the UFC. Mainly, I think mainly because, as far as I know, it's owned by Dana White, who owns the UFC. Or he owns, well, certainly has a majority share in it, or had the majority share in it, whatever, anyway. I don't, to be honest, normally I do a little bit of research for these. I do a go in and find out a little bit about the history and a little bit about them. I didn't delve too deep in this, to be honest. Not really what it's for. So, UFC whiskey. Um, Howler head with the sunglasses on. I think I know who uh, Connor uh, Dana White's pulled in front of. Does he? No, maybe it's just me. Anyway, so this is banana flavored whiskey. Why do I do this stuff? Now this is not going to be your subtle, nuanced, aged spirit where where different notes arise and move through. If you add a little water, it moves on. If you leave it set in the oxygen, it moves. No, this is not what this is for. This is for people who watch UFC and go to the fights to drink lots of, probably with lemonade or something in it, and get blocked. Okay, folks. Just a wee reminder, alcohol, if you have a problem, if you think there's something wrong, there is something wrong. Stop for a little period of time, and if you can't, go and seek help. Okay? Don't mean to bring the tone of the thing down, but it's nonetheless a, a fact of, of life. So, getting back to this. This, it, this. this has been... I think people really, really like this. I think it's probably because the UFC's grown in popularity. To, to a huge extent. I remember when the UFC first started and there was a, kind of no rules for anybody. And it was you had sumo guys fighting the wee skinny guy and the wee skinny guy kicking the kicking him in the face and, and doing all this kind of stuff. And then the, 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 the Gracies came along and made the fights extremely boring. They were fantastic at what they did, but God they were boring. 
you know, 20 minutes on a hold. And the next thing, boy breaks out and gets him in another hold and holds him for another 10 minutes. And then they brought in some rules and weight categories and so on and so forth. But I, I remember in its early days. And, and it was like the Wild West for a wee period of time. Really interesting, really exciting. Um, you had the strikers versus the, the grapplers. And the grapplers nearly always won because uh, they, they would take guys down. And they'd say, oh, this is how proper fighting's done. But there was rules. There was some rules. There's loads of stuff in the UFC, by the way, that I don't really agree with. Shouldn't be hitting guys when they're down on the ground. Um, guys get knocked out and fall down and guy comes out and hammers them. Shouldn't happen. Shouldn't happen. But anyway, that's nonetheless what happens. I'm getting very morbid about this. I'm bringing this whole thing down. Not Bring it back up again because we're howling heads. Anyway, right. Hmm. Bananas. There seems to be a banana tropical fruit. No. More bananas. Candy bananas. Which we kind of like. And uh, to be honest, <laughs> there's, lots, there's candy bananas, sugar, and a little bit of mint. That's basically it. Okay. The, the bourbon, they might as well have just said, we've done it with any spirit. The, the bourbon bit's not really entering into it. There's, not, there's nothing there of any real note. But there is lots and lots of bourbon, or sorry, lots and lots of banana, lots of sort of artificial banana, sugar, and a little bit of, 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 of sort of mint. That's, uh, yeah. Cut that off. Oh my God. I like artificial flavouring. I like artificial banana flavouring. Um, always have done. <laughs> I just don't like it in that. Oh God, it, it, tastes, it tastes like a liquid sugar dessert with like banana flavour shoved through it. It's not designed to appeal to me. There's, I'm sure there's loads of young people that will drink away at this and they'll, they'll, they'll pour it out and they'll pour, I don't know, lemonade, um, seven up. Other lemonades are available. Um, <laughs> enjoy it mightily. Oh God! <laughs> you know what? You do know why I'm in doing this, really. It's because Justin, Justin has is on a course doing stuff, and he tells me, "Oh, you should try that there. Apparently, it's pretty good." And so, you know, you go and talk to someone else, and they say, "Yeah, it's all right." And then on my my young boys' mates, then this. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a cough medicine. That if they didn't flavour it with banana flavouring to appeal to kids, kids wouldn't take. It, it tastes like something that's preventing you from being sick. But I bet you this has the opposite effect. I bet you this is <laughs> exactly the opposite effect. I imagine there's been lots and lots and lots of, of people who really can't drink an awful lot drinking lots of this and being and not being in a good way this this oh god it's it's cheap it's i mean it's it's like 20 dollars a bottle or something howler head banana flavored bourbon is uh, is possibly uh, an indication of where parts of western society are heading uh yeah so, I built it. Well, should I give it a rating? I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll rate it in in a in a sort of bourbon esque way, uh, and put it. We'll put it at uh, two and a half. Uh, sorry, we'll put it at three because I quite like the wee drawing. I, th I think he's possibly poking fun. Big mouth, you know, glasses on. He might be poking fun at another UFC person with a, a, their own whiskey brand. Once, once was their whiskey brand, so yeah, you never know. But yeah, anyway, 
<laughs> I your head. Dear Lord. The things I the things I do. I'm gonna go and have a strong word with Justin here and uh, uh, come and see me and Justin on a Saturday night. Uh, Irish Whiskey Review, we're on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitch. Um, if you can't do that, if possibly you're blind or visually impaired, we do a podcast. So we're on all of those platforms. If you just ask Alexa, play Irish Whiskey Review, up she pops. And, uh, or iTunes. I think we're in spot. I don't know. Justin does all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you can find out. <laughs> I think Euler Head, uh, banana flavoured bourbon is pretty awful. Um, this this will stay in the cupboard for a long time, for a very long time, until until we get some kids around who watch UFC, and then we can pour it to them and pour some uh, white lemonade in, and then they'll be all happy. It's not very good. Take care of yourselves, guys. All the best. Bye bye.